Hey guys, TechieKHD here again with another video, and today I have my top 5 Cydia tweaks compatible with your iPhone 6 or iPhone 6 Plus. Now, most of these tweaks will also work with the iPhone 5, 5S, and above. There's some of them that are Touch ID specific, so you guys may want to look out for that. But besides for that, that's basically the tweaks that I have to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get straight on into the video. Alright guys, so a couple of the tweaks that I have here, as I mentioned before, are... Uh, touch id specific and the first one is one of them so you are going to need an iphone 5s or an iphone 6 essentially it's the iphone 5s and above uh, including the ipad mini retina third generation the ipad air second generation etc basically you need a touch id enabled device now the first tweak here is called lock glyph now as you guys can see at the bottom of my screen on the lock screen i have this interesting little animation going on waiting for my finger to go ahead and unlock the device and when I do put my finger on it, which is registered with Touch ID, it does have this interesting animation that basically uh, occurs just before unlocking the device. And this is actually the same animation that's used on Apple Pay. Now, if you go down into settings, Lockliff actually does have a couple of different settings that you can work with to customize this to the way that you would like it to behave on your device, and that is through using the behavior settings right up here. Now, the first thing you can do is enable Lockliff, and the second thing you can do is actually have it unlock immediately without giving you the little check mark, as well as enable a little uh, lock sound that actually happens. Uh, it's basically like a little ding. It's essentially what you would hear while using Apple Pay as soon as your payment went through, uh, and then that subsequently unlocks your device. Now the next tweak that I have to show you guys is actually for all those of you who like using Snapchat. Now this tweak is basically going to allow you to make use of a lot of features that Snapchat doesn't. For example, to be able to upload previously taken images. Now I have a lot of images that I take while I'm walking around but I don't always think of Snapchatting them at that instant. But if I want to later, I can actually do it using this tweak. Another one of the interesting features that it allows you to do is actually use a lot of different lines of text. Now Snapchat normally restricts you to just one line of text such as this, but or but when you're using this tweak it actually allows you to have multiple lines of text. Now the tweak that I'm talking about of course is Snapmaster. Now another interesting feature that it has, and this is a little bit controversial whether Snapchat is very happy about this or not, and that is the fact that it actually allows you to save other people's Snapchats without them knowing. Now normally if you were to take a screenshot of a snapchat, the other person would be notified. So here's an image and as you guys can see at the top left a little arrow appears that allows you to save it to your camera roll without the person being notified. And when you tap it and you come back into your camera roll, there it is. Now of course I respect my friend's privacy so I'm going to delete her photograph here, And but essentially there are a lot of people who might find this useful just for gags as long as you don't use it for anything harmful or in the invasion of somebody else's privacy. Now Snapmaster has a lot of different things you can do that allows you to, for example, discreetly replay snaps, uh, get rid of the snap timer at the top right, as well as automatically skip through stories for you guys if you would so like that. There's a lot of different options that you guys can play with, and of course I would definitely recommend giving this a try, so long as you're not planning on invading somebody's privacy or sharing information that would otherwise not be allowed to be shared. Now the next tweak I'm going to show you guys here is called Sleek Code. Now this is a very interesting tweak because it is basically an aesthetic tweak, it isn't especially functional, but it's very interesting to have on your device just in case you have an interesting wallpaper in the background. Now basically what Sleek Code allows you to do is when you slide over, the first thing it does is actually blur out your background a little bit more. It's very interesting that this is actually able to be done, I definitely quite like it. Uh, it's very interesting that this works in this way, it's a very minimalistic tweak, but it's very interesting the way that it works and I definitely recommend it. I quite enjoy using it, and another interesting thing it allows you to do is have those little white dots come up only when you're touching one of the numbers. So I'm just going to unlock my device, and over here, as you guys can see, it doesn't do anything specific with Touch ID, but it is rather interesting to use. Now, the final tweak that I have to show you guys here today, or rather not the final tweak, but this is the one just before that, and this is called Groovy Lock. Now, basically what this allows you to do is have interesting new lock screen themes on your device. Now, you guys might remember seeing a couple seconds ago that I had an interesting lock screen clock, and here's another one. Now, basically these can be downloaded off of Cydia and enabled through Groovy Lock, which is the tweak required to allow lock screen tweaks and themes available on iOS 8 and above, uh, depending on what device you guys are running. Now there's a lot of interesting themes that you can download for free off of the Cydia store, and I would definitely recommend checking out a couple of these. Um, 
This is highly customizable because it really does depend on the theme that you download and work on it a little bit, whether you want to do something very simplistic on your device or actually go back into the settings uh, after SSHing into your device and being able to modify the settings yourself. Now a lot of these themes are very interesting and I've been asked about them in previous videos and so I decided to include this tweak today in this video. Now the last theme I want to show you guys is actually something that is a tweak that's really interesting. It allows you to have multiple different dock themes. Now when I say themes, I mean it doesn't allow a lot of customization to the dock, but enough that it's going to look pretty cool. Now you guys might have noticed that I had a transparent dock earlier and now I have uh, a semi-transparent uh, black one. And of course you can change this, you can have a semi-transparent white one as well. There's very uh, nice and different themes that you can use and I would definitely recommend giving dock shift a try because this is an interesting tweak, it looks great on all devices and I would definitely recommend it. Alright guys, so that about does it for this video. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. This was one of the videos that was often requested on the YouTube video that I made a couple days ago as well as on Twitter, I'm always getting messages about what my tweaks are that I use on my phone. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys would like to see other videos like these, please do remember to subscribe. And if you have any other interesting video ideas, do remember to leave them down there in the comment section, and I'll get back to you guys with a brand new video on what you guys left me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.